Hey everyone, if this is your first time to the channel, please do so. Make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications. So that way you don't miss another video like this one coming your way. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help our channel grow. Please feel free to leave a comment. We do get back to all of our comments. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Tour Room. Come from My Room Tours. And today, here we got Godzilla X-Kong, the new empire, Giant Kong with Beast Glove. This one comes to us from Playmates, and it's for ages four and up, folks. Available now. You can pick this one up either at Walmart, Targets, uh, either way. This one came from Walmart. Uh, retails for about $24.98 or $97, whatever Walmart has it for. Uh, U.S. dollars, and I'm assuming the Target would probably be very close to that within, within maybe like a few cents. Uh, $24.99 maybe if you could find one at Target. Uh, we are finding out very quickly, folks, that Godzilla x Kong, uh, The New Empire, uh, this movie has not yet even came out. But the toys, a lot of people are picking these toys up. Uh, the shelves are being left picked clean. Um, don't know if they're putting out a whole lot at once as to what they're doing with their merchandise over at Playmates, but I know that a lot of a lot of areas such as Walmarts have these on end caps and these end caps are fairly large and they have a lot of a lot of these items on there meant to put a lot on um, and they're left pick clean either that or else right before that movie hits they're gonna ju they're just gonna load it up so it's either way something's gonna be up um, yeah rush out to your local Walmart's targets see if you can pick yourself up one also, I believe that maybe Big Bad Toy Store might also be offering these on their website and also Entertainment Earth. You can go ahead and check them out. Um, yeah, and see if they have them available. They might have them available to ship now, or they might be on pre-order. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't went onto those websites in a minute, but I do know that they are up at least for pre-order. So go onto their websites, check them out, or hit up your local Walmart or Target stores. Uh, you might even be able to find these at Best Buy, folks. So Best Buy has been carrying a lot of Godzilla stuff. They carry a lot of NECA stuff. They've been carrying Mezco. They've been carrying Super 7. So a lot of people forgetting about Best Buy. Best Buy does carry Playmates. So uh, hit up your local Best Buy. And I'm sure they might have some Godzilla X-Kong. The new Empire collectibles for you today. All right, folks. So here we got this cool-looking Kong this thing looks amazing. Um, absolutely love this piece. I love it because it's larger. Okay, so it's a bigger item. Comes with a little bit of a bigger price tag. Not really bitching and complaining too much about the price tag due to the fact that... Uh, look at how beautiful this piece looks. This piece looks really nice. A lot of potential here for a lot of you um, customizers that love to customize your Kongs. Uh, love to customize your uh, toys your collectibles uh, this one might be for you has a whole lot of potential because this Kong is screaming madness folks this thing looks amazing and I can't even imagine how good it's gonna look on the big screen when you bring them to life not sure if the what's what's going on with the beast glove but I'm sure when this movie hits we're gonna find out real quickly that it's just gonna make this Kong a complete badass all right so let's turn this thing to the side you can see the side of this package right there you can see your Kong just right there off to the side Godzilla X Kong the new Empire we're going to turn it over around to the back there you have it on the back folks so yeah you have some Godzilla X Kong merch all the way around and it also says it on the very top right there so you could check that out all right off to the side you can see some ice crystals going on over there whatever those crystals are uh something's gonna be up with that so yeah we're gonna have to just wait and see as to what's going on not unless there are some bootleg copies of this movie out uh but yeah i'm just gonna wait till it hits theaters and see it at its best form uh for that way i can appreciate the movie a whole hell of a lot more all right folks first off tell the tape our Kong is checking in slightly over 11 inches from the very bottom of his foot to the very top here. He's a little over 11 inches in. 
he is also a little over 28 centimeters. So, yeah, he's he's um, a pretty big boy. So, yeah, and then you can see the shoulder width area right there as to how big he is. So his shoulders are checking in probably about six and a quarter inches. And if we translate that out, yeah, he's probably about 16 centimeters in shoulder. That's just relaxed. Folks, this figure brings a lot of articulation. So as you can tell, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I have been very sick, folks. So in case you didn't know, you didn't see my last video where I reviewed the, te the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Chainsaw Prop Replica Deluxe from Trick or Treat Studios. If you didn't see that, I was severely sick when I did that. I have been sick now for over a week. Don't know what happened. Um, walking to a Walmart. It might have been this day. And uh, when I picked this guy up last week and um, got severely sick. Yeah, there was a lady hacking all over. I had to get some vitamins. Uh, she was in that aisle. Those aisles are so cramped, folks. Uh, it's just a cesspool of germs. And I got sick almost immediately. Like on the way home, I was really sick. So now I'm feeling better. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for the well wishes out there that watched the last video to wish me well. Also, here we go, folks. Here is our Kong. Brings a lot of articulation for this particular piece. Um, look at how nice this thing looks. This thing looks so damn nice. I like the way it looks. Like I said, no toy that's on a toy shelf right now is going to be perfect according to movie quality. You want movie quality, you want a perfect looking figure, you're going to have to pay. And I'm talking... $100 and up. We're talking $200, $300. That's when you get into the Iron Studios. You get into the uh, Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles, Mezco. Uh, you get higher end toys of this particular one. SH Figure Arts. Um, yeah. Um, of this, you're going to have to pay. And I feel for $24.98 or $97, whatever this was, we paid for it was a steal because this is a great piece. If you have the skill to customize it, go on ahead and feel free. It is your toy. You can do what you like. Uh, that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is just to show you the toy. So here we have Kong. Looks really, really cool. I want to give you an up close as to just how nice this figure looks. So that way you can get an idea and see you could check out his little arm right there. And you can pose him however you would like. So you can see his teeth, how cool they look. You can see his glove right there. Look at how badass that looks. Yeah, Kong is going to do some damage in this next movie. So we're going to check that out. Has a whole lot of bolts and everything that go through him in the back right there. So... It doesn't say that to try me or anything on here. So I'm guessing that it doesn't have any kind of like uh, motion or um, voice box in there. So you could check that out right there. See that from the back. See how it looks. All right. Yeah, they did a pretty good damn job on this guy. He looks really nice. All right, folks. So head will turn side to side okay just letting you know you can get probably get it to spin around if you want upside down head kong okay this is a big piece so yes look at the hinge work in this look at that look how good that looks that thing is just massive it's just really nice nice beefy figure i know that a lot of people love their figures nice and beefy like this um yeah so yeah he he works real good also there are some rotation here at the top of the elbow right there along with the hinge so you got that going on and on this one it is the same exact uh except for there is no rotation on this particular hand right well on this elbow at all this is all we get right here so there is nothing going on there folks so yeah there you go and plus you could just spin his arms 
even if you bring them out, you could just spin them however you like. Okay. So obviously in the waist area, let me back our guy up. So that way you can see him. You got a you got a good one on him right there. Yeah, let me back this up. There you go. All right. So obviously in the waist area, there is no articulation in the waist area at all. But what he does have is our Kong has hinges right here. So yeah, you can get he's very very mobile he got rotation just everything you can just do a lot with this guy going on um and also he has hinges right here in the knees so you can see it from the back so you can get his feet to move which is really cool and pose him however you like and it doesn't take much for this guy to stand on his own at all uh yeah he he is definitely going to be a showpiece in your display um because he stands out a uh, very well made figure i will give uh playmate set they did a good job on this also on the hand i forgot to mention does he have articulation yeah he does i thought i broke it at first but no he has articulation in the hand so you can get his hand to move there's no hinge work there i'm almost afraid to move this one because i feel like there's no articulation there in his hand so if there is there could be but i'm not going to force it because this is you feel that you heard that okay this is like a hollowed out plastic so that way you could see it hollow all the way through so the figure as big as he is is not very heavy so he's perfect for children this guy's gonna end up in some people's backyards forts dirt all over them grime and that's what they're made for folks this is what children are gonna do with this toy and um, collectors obviously it's gonna go into collection and just stare at us the way that it's staring at the camera right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. And then you can see it is hollowed out throughout the bottom of the feet. So there you go. Nothing really going on. All up in there. And then you got like all like the little serial numbers and everything that are amongst the inside there. I don't know if you can see all that. If you're getting that. So you got serial numbers and everything, and it's also in that foot as well. All right, folks, so other than that, the only uh, dispute that I will have about this toy is I really wish it had made sound. Um, if it would have made sound, this guy would have knocked it out the park. Still does for $24.97. You can't beat it. Uh, that's about the going rate, folks. Toys are growing up. They're going up stuff is getting expensive uh inflation is going through the roof uh just everything in general is just going through the roof and i think that that's one of the reasons as to why toys of today even though they're so well made are starting to sit on the shelves and appear at ross stores and everything else later on due to the fact that a lot of folks are struggling um out there because the cost of living is outweighing what a lot of jobs are paying uh, nowadays. So it's either you pay rent or you um, buy the toy. It, it's coming down to that for a lot of people, folks. Uh, but I'm going to try, folks, as best as I can to bring you uh, stuff like this. For that way you can check it out to give you an up close at it. Uh, if it can help you out any possible way by soothe you down by watching these videos hey then we did our job here at mo's toy room uh, and we love kong here we love godzilla here we love horror here we love star wars here and we do have that really big 1978 through 1983 my personal loose collection video coming up within weeks People been asking for years for me to do it. 
The problem is going back and forth to my storages. I got two different storages. Trying to piece it all together, get it all together because it's that big, folks. But it's only going to be my loose collection. It's not going to be all, everything in box and every single figure in box and all that, or else I'm going to need a whole warehouse. <laughs> uh, but it will be my loose collection, something that I could get on video to give to all the Star Wars fans out there to let them know that I am the real deal, folks. For sure, I've been collecting a long time, over four decades, and I still got toys from when I was a kid. I am 53 years old now and still going strong. Uh, all right, folks. So anyway, enough jaw flapping, and I'm sure you're tired tired of hearing my voice. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit the like button. Let's see if we could get this video over 10 likes. If I get 20 likes, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, it seems it seems a bit low, folks. But you'll be surprised. A lot of people don't like all the videos. So, uh, but it does help our channel grow. Uh, it helps uh, YouTube put us in an algorithm or whatever they call that to start promoting Moe's Tour Room a whole lot more. So please, folks, don't forget to th hit the like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications so that way you don't miss another video like this one coming your way. So from Moe's Tour Room to yours, everyone, good night.